Hey guys, this is Lady Ru Ellen. Um, welcome to Manifest. This is an RPG VX game made by Steve Bethune. And um, I just saw it on RPG Maker. I was just, you know, browsing around and I saw this and I was thinking, you know, I want to try something that's not really scary, something that's more, you know, fantasy based because I do like fantasy games. Um, I, it had really good reviews. Like I heard, like I even read a review where this guy said it could be a real Game Boy game. It could be something that could be sold out in the real world. And if it's that good, I really want to share it with you guys. I want to try it. It's, it looks really cool. Like I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so I want to try it out with you guys. So let's start. New game. I don't know much about it. I just know it's real fantasy based. There exists the most curious and powerful race in the world of o Ospes, able to manipulate and alter matter itself. Oh, it's really pretty. Their numbers are few, and from the beginning they have lived as outcasts, perceived as a threat to the world and every living thing in it. They are called Theolar. Time Timotians are the most dominant race in Ospes, have done all they can to suppress the Theolar, for they, more than any, are afraid of them. Most Theolar are content to living in hiding and have abandoned the use of their abilities in hopes they would be forgotten. But among them is a small group known as the Anjurim, who are unwilling to give up that part of themselves. I'm trying to rush because I'm not. Their sole purpose is to provide to the Timotians, the rest of the world, with a glimpse of their greatness, now long overshadowed by what else they are capable of. So yeah, I'm not pressing enter to skip it. It actually does it on its own. Anyway, that's a really pretty background. Super excited. Oh, that's my character. Oh, they're so cute! Though I may have lost countless hours of sleep of making this game, every one of them has was spent dreaming regardless. It is dedicated to my wife Katie, who said dream on. Aww, that's so sweet! City of the Art Productions presents... That's so nice. I can't believe you did that. Manifest. Now I'm really excited. I can't wait to play this. Okay. Is that my character? Changes. Uh, ar arm 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 I'm Clem Army. Army. Novri. His name's Nov. I'm calling him Nov. Ar Army and Nov. Yeah, F. Laura wants me to make some changes. She says I'm spending all my time training. Oh, I think I'm gonna Yeah, F. Laura wants me to make some changes. She says I'm spending all my time training. You? Training? Uh, you? <laughs> You're lucky I like you. I'd give you another taste of my training, rookie. Remember the last time you ended up in a tree? Yeah, I couldn't walk for a week, but I... Also remember the scowl Sindrion gave you when you he saw he, when he saw me slumped over your shoulder. <sighs> Having troubles. Oh, I wish it was a girl. It'd be easier to do her voice. All right. I would rather have laid up in up for a month than have a look aimed at me. Anyway, it was a lucky shot, and you're not the only one who's been trained. Did you hear something? No, I was talking. Just the wind, I guess. I wouldn't worry too much about changing for F. Laura's sake. She'll just have to train at the same time as you. She's been a member of the Andrim and and with the, that word longer than either of us, and she's known since the day she's recruited on you what our priorities are. Ah, oh, my young rookie. She didn't count on my infectious charm drastically altering her priorities. You can't blame her for falling madly in love with me and wanting me all around all the time. Funny, I recall you chasing after Flora for years before she finally gave up, and I find myself questioning her judgment more than ever. Oh. But you have two? But you two have been married for four years. Why is she only bringing this up now? Let's be straight, Rookie. I haven't always been the most dedicated member of the Andrew Room Group, but that big book of the guy. Hell, I know. I Hell, I know it, and apparently so do you. But lately, Cinderella has been trained, had me training most of each day, and well into the night. To tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind a change, of, change myself. I'm always tired. I actually got up the nerve to complain last week, and you know what he said to me? What's that? Lost sleep is like lost hair. You might feel better with it, but you can get along fine without it. Huh, I didn't know he thought about those kinds of things. Maybe that explains the beard. 
But now that you mention it, I've been sleeping much less and training a great deal more as well over the past months. Cinderion is uneasy. He has been he has been since his brother left to meet with the new Time Italian High Lord last year. And basically, and rightfully so. <sighs> they both sound the same. <laughs> I can't do it. And rightfully so. He should have been back by now. You can be sure Cinderion is thinking the same thing. Time Italians have always been afraid of us. I believe formally introducing ourselves to the High Lord ba Belarus and pleading our case is ever going to remedy that. We can't change what we are. Try telling the to Cinderinum and Dalamar. Oh my god, so many names! Okay. <laughs> Hang on. I needed a drink. <sighs> Try telling that to Cinderon and Dalamog. They share a brotherly optimism. That's why Dalamog volunteered to go as an ambassador. He thought that meeting face to face with Belarus might make him more sympathetic to our cause. It makes sense. The Tamatians put a lot of faith in their High Lord. If he looks favorably on us, they all will. A lot, a heard of a lot of good it has done so far. We haven't heard from Dalamog in months, and another Theolar was abducted recently. I hadn't heard about that. Was it a member of Andarum? No, it was a young man from Capital. There was a storm coming, and I think Cinderon knows it. I certainly don't trust the new High Lord. But you've never even met Belarus. Look, the Tamatians have never liked us, and they never and they may never like us, but these kidnappings didn't start until last year when we took over. There it is again. Do you hear it this time, damn it? Hear what? What does it sound like? It was a small rustling sound, and I think it came from the bushes over there. Tonight's dinner, perhaps? Let's not get distracted. We need to finish up collecting the herbs Cinderon asked for and get back to the village. What is the old man playing at, anyway? What do you mean? I'm as hesitant to question our leader as the next member, but you can, ev but you can ever remember him eating or using a single herb for as long as you've known him? I can't. I mean, I can't. Damn it. Then why, in the name of all that is good, are we out here when we could be at home with Elf- uh, Stay where you are. You, I can't do it. Stay where you are. You have been named enemies of the Empire. What the hell are you talking about? By who? By decree of the High Lord Belarus. Do not attempt to use your abilities. They will not help you. You will come with us. You're mistaken if you think we're going anywhere. Someone will have to answer to Cinderun if we get if we don't get the herbs he asked for, and he isn't going and it isn't going to be me. No, there is no time for you. Leave us no choice but to use force. Get ready, Rookie. Remember your training. Fight! Oh God, I took forever. So much talking. Question mark? Question mark? And question mark emerge. Oh my God, a real fighting system. What do I do? How do I fight? There we go. Okay, uh, it's Nova's turn. Uh, attack. Oh, shit. Attack. You attack. This one. I'm not used to this kind of fighting system. I'm not. I've never done it yet. Oh, good. Dang it. Oh, it's like Final Fantasy. I get it. Why, why does Belarus take issues with us? Please seek a peaceful existence with time and times. We're dangerous. If Cinderella Ryan pretends any differently, he is deluding himself with the rest of Angelo. How do you tell him off? Why would you do this? You are saying Cinderella's brother. It is the will of High Lord Balanus. Right. How dare you turn your back on Angelo? You are Theolar. Will come with me. What's happening? Go for it, Cinderella! Shit your eye, man! Nova! Now, Rookie! God dang it, fine! Look after Flora! Oh shit, did he die? So much drama in only 10 minutes. Oh, we have to. Did I go now? No.
No! Oh, their village is destroyed. Oh. Damn. Dude, I'm sorry. I was so focused on reading and using their voices. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the beginning. I had too many names. Do you guys understand what the fuck is going on? That's so horrible. I know that someone betrayed someone else. They were planning on peace, but they ended up getting betrayed at the end. I think that's what it is, right? Is that what's happening? Eight years later. God, my voice hurts from doing all those voices. Alright, eight years later, I got it. Okay, I have to wait. I'm excited, though. Can't wait. What's up with this? I see an old man. Oh, I'm not locking it. Ugh. What am I gonna play? Hope. Hope. But we are the last two members, and we have been hiding for a better part of a decade. The Andri Andri Andorim has collapsed. Our members scattered, dead, and at or allied with the Tamatians. I don't want to say Thymatians, because I know there's a cult behind that. That's how you say it. We're being hunted down by our own kind. Your own brother. That's Cinderian. An, in an interesting and most devastating trick Balarus has pulled off turning them against us. But a trick nonetheless. I cannot accept the Theolar, especially Dalmo, would carry out these acts willingly. How then? I'm afraid that there remains a mystery war, but Balarus continues to draw more of us over to his side all the time. They won't stop hunting us, will they? It does not seem likely. If Dalamog is as dedicated to his new purpose as he wants to, as he was to Andorum, he will find us. What if someone here betrays us to them? I find it difficult to trust these Tamatians any more than thousands who would prefer us extinct. I trust the villagers of Velma with my life. I wish I could share your faith, but I would feel much better if we find a place far removed from the Tamatian Empire. I am not so sure a place still exists. And if it does, it won't for long. It is the nature of an empire to expand. If not its borders, then its interests. Be Belarus and would reach out and soon find us wherever we go, no matter how isolated we think we are. As you pointed out, we may be the last remaining members of the Andorim. Perhaps the two of us la 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 those, what I said. But as I said before, which I didn't say exactly, I'll help you. Is not even lost. I believe there are others out there hiding like us. If we continue this way, Belarus will eventually find us all, one by one. It might be months, a few years. For our legacy to endure, we must come out of it and unite the scattered. Yeah, unite the scattered field. Andrew and or not, we must continue to coordinate our efforts. Those time Italians have seen only one side of what we are capable of. And until they know the other, they will continue to live in fear of us. Since he took office as the High Lord has the High Lord has kept the attention of the citizens fixed upon us, never once allowing them to look away from the threat he has made us up to be. We must use their unwavering scrutiny to our advantage and make our stand at their capital, city in Azraid, on Belarus's doorstep. We must bear witness to the good that can come and has come from our abilities. They must be exposed to it again and again and again. Only then can we coexist. It was there, it was this very idea that gave rise to the Andaman, and the same that drove us to abandon my home in the Western Isles and live among the Tamatians. <coughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Oh my god, old man. <laughs> you never mentioned the Western Isles before. Were there many Theolar living there? Thousands, my boy. There have always been pockets of Theolar living among the Empire. But the majority of us, including the first members of Andrew, lived in the city of Eberwick, far from the Empire, across the Galdrian Sea. Our ancestors found sanctuary there. It has been 39 years since I left. The music makes you want to make it like a big historical speech. Is that him as a young lad? You are leaving, are you? Oh, that's him. Yes. Whew, he was cute. I should give him a 
good voice. Yes. I cannot stay here forever. I feel like a caged animal and I want something better than this. For all of us. If we do nothing, we will fade away. Soon, the rest of the world will forget about us as if we never existed. Maybe that is for the best. But think about all we have to offer them. All that they can learn from us and us from them. You read Malik that book, you know what happened. We have to try again. There will be blood. Maybe not. There is almost always an alternative to force. But do they know that? We will see. Let the other elders know that I'm taking a zeppelin and an extium stone. What? But why? The task of protecting the stone passed to all of us. I might be leaving Emperor, but I will not leave behind my responsibilities. I will keep it safe. There's nothing I can say to convince you to stay, is there? Nope. But you knew that before you asked. <sighs> yeah, you're right. And so I'm going with you. But you knew that before I said it, didn't you? Ha! I did. And I wouldn't want it any other way. Bromance! Get your things together. I will speak to the elders. We leave when you're ready. My things are on board the Zeppelin. We leave when you are ready. Oh, they're so brotherly. Romance! Ugh. <coughs> Cinderion! Finally a girl. Ryan's a girl, right? Come to see me off, have you? If... Me. Well, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, I really can't tell. You understand? Oh, damn it! I knew it! I knew it! It's a boy! God bless! Alright. You, you underestimate yourself, my boy. You learned all you can from me. Just remember to keep practicing, and someday you will change the world. Until then, look after everyone for me, and take care of your parents. Take me take me with you, please. It could be as cool it could be a cool world, my boy, often cold and indifferent to the fate of one even as young as you. Perhaps one day, when we have made a place in it for ourselves, you can join me. I look forward to it. But, farewell, Lemuel. Uh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, are you glad you left, even after all that happened? It certainly would have been different had I had stayed, but not necessarily better. I made a choice. The path I chose is all I know, and it is not given to me to know the other. Cinderian, what is the Extimum Stone? Exit Tium Stone. The Exit Stone. I suppose there is no one telling you at this point. And get the name right. It's ex Exit. It's Exit Stone suits just fine. The stone is a source of terrible power. Created by the Theolar who came as close as one. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <sighs> so much talking. Alright. The story of the source of terrible power created by a Theolar who came as close as one had to master the use of focus. He, he, he even knew stuff. Like, before it's contemplation that it was a mistake, but some mistakes cannot be undone. We must live with the best that we can. When he formed the Andorium, he decided that one of the primary duties of its members would be to act, act as keepers of the Exit Stone, and protect it from dark intentions. And you keep it, and you have been its keeper all these years? Excuse me. I doubt I will ever be completely free of the guilt I have for leaving, but I shouldered the burden of the stone in an attempt to rid myself of at least a small part of it. Is it here in Relna? To keep it in the village would be putting everyone at risk. I have kept it in an abandoned mine in the Carcass Mountains for the past four years. I wonder if it's still if we are there are, if that I wonder I often wonder the same thing, my boy. Even though I don't really know what you're wondering, I kind of get it. I get it. I find these thoughts are left with the... I can't read. Ah! 
I find my thoughts are with those I left behind more frequently these past few years, and I pray that the Western Isle has remained untouched by Belarus and its agents. If we hope to gather together the remaining few on the new of ever common foothold in this world, we should start there. We can take refuge here as long as we can. I fear Dalamok is closing in on us. How soon do we leave? That depends. I have something I must ask you to do first. I would do it myself, but I have my own matters to attend here in the village. What do you want me to do? I mentioned that I kept the exit stone hidden away these last few years. Now that we are leaving Relna, the stone must go with us. I need you to travel east of the Carcass Mountains and bring it back here. It is no simple task, and not to be taken lightly, my boy. It will be quite difficult in fact, but I would not ask you to undertake such a thing if I did not think you capable of it. However, your faith is... Your faith in me means a lot. I will leave immediately. Slow down, my boy. God damn it. I said, wait a minute. Jeez. Do not get me wrong. Faith is a wonderful thing. A truly remarkable thing. Particularly when it's well placed. But it is not the only reason I have survived all these years. Damn it. I credit my friendship for that. And so, before you go off running, I urge you to seek out the blacksmith. Who is black. Seek out Velamek. He will be more than willing to accompany you. If you ask him, and I assure you the assistance will prove invaluable. I must admit that knowing he is with you will help put my mind at ease. You will find his forge in the northwest corner of the village. And here is a map to help you find the mine. This hurts. I'm not used to doing this, guys. I'm still doing logging ribbon in one night, too. Damn it. Map of Ospets. Now then, I do not take and do not take unnecessary risks and use your focus wisely. I will make you proud. I know you will. Take care, Army. My son. Wait, what? I'm just playing. If you see an open book like the one on Sandrin's table, you can read it. Some books will provide helpful information while others may reveal valuable secrets. Be sure to read any you come across. Alright. Battle menu tips. Character statistics. Sorry, right, sorry. I don't want to. Battle. Fleeing. Alright. Oh yeah, see, this is totally like Fatal Frame. I'm not Fatal Frame. It's like, what was this all about? Wait, what's this about buttons and characters and menus? I don't understand a word of it. But one day I might. I better take it with me for reference. <laughs> I think that's great. There's something else folded beneath it. Fight plan. With a fight plan, you may change your battle option from the menu. Go to menu, key items, and use it. Okay. So how do I save? Is this thing? No? Ooh. Save your progress? Yes. Okay, guys. I know we didn't get a lot of gameplay there, but... We did... We got a pretty good introduction. Everything's done. You listen to me make a fool of myself. I'm gonna end the episode here for today. Hit a like and favor if you enjoyed this game. I, I actually find it really interesting. I can't wait to get started on this. So, you know, like I said, like and favorite. Um, hit the subscribe button if you wanna join the aristocracy and become an aristocrat like me. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Join the aristocracy. Become an aristocrat today.